Hello, Hello again. again. My name is Matt. And I'm Emily. You might remember us from our first Kickstarter project, The Bee Book. We had a really great response to that book, and now we're back with a new creation for you. 24 Hour Flowers. This book encompasses the same union of form and content that The Bee Book utilized. It's a dodecagonal book. 12 sides. But with flowers that bloom for only one day. We used the 24 hour concept to choose which flowers to feature in the book and then designed the structure of the book to be educational and teach about plant taxonomy. We came up with a bioradial design that separates the plants into the two most basic categories, monocots and dicots, and chose two families from each of these groups to fill the four main sections of the book. And then we chose two species from each family to fill the center of the book. Each of these eight central flowers fits the concept of 24-hour flowers. The book is also designed to be interactive and great for group learning. Its radial design is great for taking turns while reading. With that in mind, I created the first dummy books out of paper and map board, cutting, scoring, and folding dodecagonal pieces to fit together. I then moved on to a full-size model to mail to our printer. The biggest challenge with that model was creating a two-layered frame out of a single piece of paper but the initial calculations ended up working out pretty well, and after just a few small adjustments, we had a working book. Then the printer made us a blank version of the book in the final laminated materials. It has a hard outer cover and is held shut with an inner locking paper belt. Once the form was finalized, we got down to illustrating the book. I started with illustrating the flowers that fill the inner sections of the book. This was tricky because a few of these flowers have relatives that look almost exactly like them. But after thorough examination and research, I had my final sketches and began inking. I worked with a brush and ink to make the general shapes of the flowers and rendered the smaller details with pen and ink. Then I began making the bigger illustrations, showcasing the flower families and information about them. These were done entirely with pen and ink, as the detail is extremely in intricate. Then I scanned all the drawings and sent them to Matt to have fun with the coloring process. Those ones were particularly challenging to color. We got a bit silly with the in-progress communication. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> so many Snapchats. <laughs>